Hey, I'm Melva. If you've tried making shorts, TikToks, or reels with VO3, you know the pain. VO3 only outputs in 16x9. When you crop that to 9x16, the image softens, edges get weird, and it never looks 100% right. Today, I'm going to give you the exact trick so that when this video ends, you can create true vertical videos with VO3. Fast, clean, and without losing quality. VO3 is the best video model right now in 2025. And with this workflow, it finally gives you perfect vertical. Before we start, do me a favor. Like the video, subscribe, and turn on the bell. And if you want my free document with the best free AI tools right now, comment exactly amazing video. My bot will check that you watched the whole video, that you subscribed, and that you liked it, and then it will send you the document automatically. Let's get into it. Quick note before we continue. I want to show you something I've been using a lot lately. This segment includes a paid partnership with Veed. Inside Veed's AI Playground, I can test top generative video models in one place, so I don't have to juggle multiple subscriptions. I paste my prompt, and as you can see, there are plenty of options here. The new Minimox HiLuo 2 Standard and Pro, the new WAN version 2.2, Cdans, Pixels, Kling, VO3 and VO3 Fast, and many more. Before I run it, I can also add a reference image to anchor the look. Drop in a frame, mood board, or thumbnail sketch so the style stays consistent. For this example, I'll pick VO3 Fast and hit Generate. When the clip is ready, I open it straight in Veed's editor to finish it. Add text, turn on auto subtitles, trim a beat, and resize for 9x16 shorts or 16x9. All on one timeline, no tool hopping. I use this on travel days, for quick product explainers, and for fast A-B tests on hooks because it moves me from idea to first cut quickly while keeping quality consistent. If you want to try Veed's AI Playground, use my link and code below for 30% off your first month or year. Limited time. I'll pin it in the comments. Humans always come to me for wisdom, but honestly, I just sit here looking important. I'm using Veed on my end because I've already shown it to you, but you can do this from any platform you like. The magic is the prep step. Do this exactly and everything else becomes simple. Open Canva or any basic image editor. Create a new document at 1920 by 1080. That is horizontal. Change the background color to pure black. Not dark gray, pure black. This makes the borders unambiguous, so the AI knows exactly where the edges are. Now, paste the vertical image you want to turn into a TikTok, reel, or short. It could be a portrait, a product, an animal, whatever you want to animate. Place the image in the center. Scale it until the top and the bottom of your image touch the frame, so the image fills vertically. You should now see two clean black bars on the left and on the right. That is exactly what we want. We are placing a vertical photo inside a horizontal canvas with solid black pillars on the sides. Check that the top and bottom are truly flush with the frame. If you see even a thin black gap, scale a tiny bit more. When it looks clean, download the image as a high-quality file. If your editor allows it, choose PNG for less compression. If you use JPEG, set it to the highest quality. Now we move to VO3. Upload the image you just created. In your prompt, be clear and firm. Ask for a video in 9x16. Say 9x16 with those words. This is critical. If you do not specify 9x16, VO will try to remove the sidebars and render in horizontal again. Tell it to keep the black sidebars exactly as they are and to animate only inside the vertical photo area in the center. Use simple language. Keep the black bars on the sides. Do not remove them. Only animate inside the photo. Now describe what you want to happen. I'm using a photo of an owl and I'm asking it to whistle. You can ask for blinking, a subtle head turn, breathing, hair movement, cloth flutter, a gentle camera push-in, or something more dynamic if the subject makes sense. If you want a natural feel, mention soft motion and clean detail. 
If you want energy, mention quick movement and stronger motion cues. When you are happy with the instruction, generate the video and download the result when it finishes. Time to make it truly vertical. Open your editor of choice. I'm using Veed. Create a project at 1080 by 1920. That is the native vertical frame for TikTok, Reels, and Shorts. Import the video from VO. If your render still includes the black bars, you now have two simple options. You can crop to the animated vertical area so the black bars disappear and the animated content fills the full frame. Or you can scale the clip up until the animated area fills the frame exactly. The goal is the same. The animated content in the middle becomes your full 9x16 video. Play it once and check the edges. Make sure there are no tiny black slivers left and nothing important is cut off at the top or bottom. If your subject is close to the edge, give it a small amount of breathing room with a gentle scale rather than a hard crop. When it looks right, export at 1080 by 1920 with a solid bitrate so the platforms do not overcompress it. Keep the audio on if your action needs sound. If you asked for the owl to whistle, make sure you can hear it, or add a simple whistle effect if you prefer your own sound. That is the core workflow, but let me give you a few practical tips so you get perfect results on the first try. Always keep the sidebars pure black. Avoid gradients or textured sides because the model may try to animate outside the intended area. If your image has thin borders or a white frame around it, remove those so the edge between the photo and the black bar is clean. If your subject is tall, like a person standing, leave a little headroom at the top inside your vertical photo before exporting the image so you don't cut off hair or hats when you scale later. If your image resolution is low, upscale it once before uploading to VO so the final video holds detail. When you describe motion, small and natural often looks more realistic. Blinks, micro head turns, soft breathing, slight camera moves, or a gentle push in can look expensive and clean. If you want a big action, like a jump or a spin, make sure the composition in your vertical photo leaves room for that motion inside the center area. Let me restate the prompt structure I use so you can copy it word for word without guessing. Make a video in 9x16. Keep the black bars on the left and right exactly as they are. Do not remove them. Only animate inside the vertical photo in the center. Then add the action you want. For me, the instruction is simple. An owl in the photo whistles and blinks while the camera does a very gentle push in. That is it. Short, specific, and it respects the layout we built. When your clip is ready, polish it quickly in your editor. Set the canvas to 1080 by 1920. Drop the clip in. Crop or scale so the animated area fills the frame. Trim the start and end if you want a tighter loop. Add captions if the platform benefits from them. In Veed, turn on automatic subtitles and check a couple of words for accuracy. Keep the font clean and place text safely inside the center so it never touches the edges. Export and you are done. You can repeat this as many times as you want. Replace the photo, change the action, keep the same setup. It works with portraits, animals, products, landscapes with a person in the middle, anything you can frame vertically. Once you do it two or three times, it becomes muscle memory, and you can batch a whole set in one sitting. Remember to like, subscribe, and turn on the bell. And if you want that free document with the best free AI tools right now, Comment amazing video and let the bot do its job. It will verify that you watched, subscribed, and liked, and then it will send you the document. I'm Malva, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.